Hey, so in this video I show you how to make brawn yourself. Um, if you do it with a pig head, it's also called head cheese. I'm using pig trotters and parts of the pig leg instead, which also works fine. The reason I'm using also part of the pork knuckle is because I want to add some meat later on into my brawn. So yeah, if you only want to do an S pick, you can skip this. And for the spices I'm using salt and a clove, black pepper, an onion, and then bay leaves, some allspice and juniper berries. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I would say let's start. First of all, you put the trotters and the pork knuckles into a really big saucepan and then add the salt, add the spices, and then also add some vinegar. You could also do this later. However, if you cook meat with it, I like to add it now because it infuses the flavor and then add some water. So everything is covered. That's the important part. Everything should be covered with water, not too much, but covered. And then you cook it over low to medium heat and let it cook for around three hours and then get out the meat and let it cool down a bit and then as you can see uh, the meat is super tender you uh, can basically just get it off the bone however i would wait a bit um, to let it cool down in the meantime you can put the broth through a sieve make sure that all the spices are filtered out and as you can see it has this nice color and also consistency and now the meat should be cooled down a bit and you can get it off the bone and put it in a bowl and then you have two different options either you can cut the meat down into cubes or you can as i do use a fork and pull the meat and then you get these nice fine strips which you can then put into a bowl here you could also add different things in different layers for example dill pickles or any other cooked vegetables also some fresh parsley would be nice however i'm only doing meat and broth this is also the time where you can add additional salt or add additional vinegar depending on your taste. The important part, it needs to be over salted and a bit too sour in the warm state because once you let it cool down, you can see it changes texture and also changes the taste. As you can see, it's uh, jiggly. You could uh, eat it like this with some bread and butter or you could also eat fried potatoes together with the brawn and talking about eating let's try it and yeah what should i say it tastes really 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 good um the spices come out nicely you can really taste the meat so yeah what should i say as always the recipe is below if you like this video then please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video bye bye